One of the biggest dangers for athletes in any sport is dehydration. Some jocks have even died pushing themselves to their limits. But how does dehydration really affect elite athletes? How do they perform when dehydration drives them to the very brink of bodily harm? To get some answers, we brought in an international rugby star known for delivering bone-crushing hits. Todd Clever. Todd's a USA rugby stud who's played in extreme conditions. But when we turn on the oven, will dehydration take him down for the count? Heat is definitely a factor in rugby. I've played on pitches that are 110, 115 degrees. You have to train for it, and you know, it's continuous play. We're going to run Todd through a one-of-a-kind rugby gauntlet to establish his baseline. And then we're going to cook him like a sausage, put him on a treadmill, and roast him under searing hot lights. That's hot. Todd will become severely dehydrated, which could lead to serious bodily harm. It's time to test Todd's baseline rugby skills. Three, two, one, go. First up, pushing a 300 pound blocking sled. Second, he launches a 200 pound teammate five feet in the air. Next, he catches a blistering 35 mile per hour pass and maintains his balance on a three inch wide beam. He nails a bullseye 25 feet away. And finally, Todd pummels our biofidelic tackling dummy with 1,200 pounds of force. Hit that! That's as much force as a sack from NFL defensive powerhouse Joey Porter. All right, so you feel like that was the best you could do under these circumstances? Feel good about it. Feel All good right. about it. Fully hydrated, Todd blew through the course in 35 seconds. But how will dehydration affect his next performance? To find out, we'll dehydrate Todd to dangerous levels. To get there, he'll run for an hour on a treadmill under scorching hot lights. And to make things worse, this rubber sauna suit will trap his body heat and amplify the effects of the burning lights. We're gonna dehydrate you as much as we can, then we're gonna bring you right back here and have you run through the same obstacle course, and we're gonna see how dehydration affects your performance. Ready to All do right. it? I'm up for it. Here we go, ready? And go! Severe dehydration is a potentially deadly condition. And after only eight minutes of running, a thermal imaging camera reveals that the temperature inside the sauna suit quickly climbs to over 140 degrees. That's four degrees hotter than the highest temperature ever recorded on Earth, 136 degrees in Africa's Sahara Desert. Tell me, how are you feeling? I feel the heat just recycling. It doesn't escape, so it's double the heat, triple the heat. The body uses up to 90% of available energy to regulate itself and maintain safe temperatures. When the brain's thermostat, the hypothalamus, stimulates glands to produce sweat, the body is wasting valuable energy that is needed to compete. Feel the lungs starting to burn. After running for 30 minutes, Todd's core temperature has skyrocketed up to an alarmingly high 104 degrees. If it reaches 105 degrees, Todd could suffer a heat stroke 
and be on his way to something worse. I've never experienced anything as hot. I, you know, just feel like I'm roasting like a chicken. As Todd loses valuable fluids, his blood thickens, and his heart pumps faster to compensate. The blood will eventually get too thick for the kidneys to filter. And without rehydrating, Todd could suffer permanent kidney and brain damage. And ultimately, go into complete circulatory collapse, resulting in death. As Todd completes his run, he's near the threshold for heat stroke, but his exceptional conditioning has kept him below this dangerous level. Three, two, one, stop. You all right? In one hour, Todd lost 7% of his water weight. That's 14 pounds, or the equivalent of two gallons. It's time for Todd to run through the gauntlet one more time. 35 seconds is the time to beat. You ready? I'm definitely doing it. So can Todd improve on his baseline time, or will dehydration take its toll? Three. Two, one, go! What'd I get? 33 seconds! What'd I say? Incredibly, that's a two second improvement over the first run. I felt really good about it and uh, you know, I felt like I beat, beat the time and finished off with a good hit on the dummy. He actually crashed into that dummy at 1,500 pounds of force, or about 200 pounds of force more than his baseline. So how did Todd's numbers improve despite severe dehydration? It's a combination of adrenaline and surprisingly, his kidneys. Dehydration builds up dangerous nitrates and acids in the bloodstream. A normal athlete's kidneys wouldn't be able to filter these toxins. But Todd's one of the best conditioned athletes on the planet. And his extreme training improves his kidney function by 30%. Todd's training helped him survive, but adrenaline helped him succeed. In this extremely stressful situation, his body taxed and dehydrated. Todd's fight or flight response kicked in, and his adrenal glands released adrenaline, increasing power and strength and ultimately, help Todd beat his time by two seconds. But regardless of the skills of the athlete or the toughness of the sport, the MVP is always H2O. Do you want your, uh, you want your reward? I would love this reward. <laughs> this is what I need. Woof. <laughs> 